Two points and two places in the standings separated Cork and Sligo before the kick-off. It was the Leesiders who grabbed an early advantage. James Tilly went out to take the corner. It was flicked on by Romeo Parks. And Cummins didn't hesitate in having a go, and his shot simply flew through the bodies. Sligo felt they'd done enough to win it at Pats a week ago, but conceded late on. They were chasing it from an early stage in this one. However, their response was to be telling. As the home side scored from their first meaningful chance, four dice put it up there for grabs, and Ronan Coughlin got up to head in against his former side. 1-1. Parks was proving a key figure for Sligo, who grew into the game. Chris Twardek demanded it out wide. He backed himself against Comerford and eked out a shot, but McNulty did well to hold on to it. The rain wasn't affecting Sligo's upsurge as Jamaican Parks bore down on goal once more. Despite a slip and two opponents in close attendance, he too got the shot off, but was well over, much to his annoyance. Sligo felt aggrieved not to have won a penalty in the second half when referee Paul McLaughlin waved away an appeal. Jack Keeney's corner kept alive by Coughlin and Horgan bundled Ronan Murray over in the box, heading away from goal. There's certainly no doubt there was contact, though. As Parks headed down the McCarthy Channel once more, he had three around him. Lewis Banks' effort might have come off the arm of O'Connor. Sub John Russell wasn't able to make the proper contact and prodded narrowly wide. Cork needed something to avoid losing touch. Hurley, O'Connor and Tilly combined and flashed one over for Cummins to attack, but he simply got under it. And the Rebels saw out the game as they had started it on the attack. There was good work in the channel from James Tilly and holding off his man, he created the space for Horgan to float it across. Dara Rainsford glanced the header goalwards. McGinley was beaten, but it drifted wide at the last second. 1-1 at the showgrounds. I would be a little bit disappointed thought for probably for 70 minutes we had a lot of opportunities but uh, overall listen Cork haven't played too badly either they've had one of the chances to, at the other end but we will be a little bit disappointed yeah um, look we got a great start obviously scoring after five minutes or so but I thought to be fair to Sligo we let them we, let, we probably let them back into the game but they got back in got a bit of momentum and probably deserved to equalise to be fair but uh, there was a lot of chances for both teams and look a draw is probably a fair result at the end